Hey y'all! So, today I am doing a haul. Now, I'm sorry if you can hear my parents out there. They are watching the news and they kind of get a little expressive when they're watching the news. But anyways, in today's video I'm going to do kind of a three-part haul. Um, not in like three different videos, just three different places that I went to. The first one was when I went to my state band contest in Corvallis. We got third place, so that was great. And then second I went to Canada two days later after state so I'm going to show you all the things that I got on that trip and then um, third one I went shopping yesterday and I'm going to show you the things that I got yesterday so we're just going to jump right in let me explain why I went to Canada though I went to Canada to march in the Victoria Day Parade um, and it was it was amazing it was my second time going and it was my last time going because we go every other year and I'm a junior so that's kind of sad but whatever so yeah I'm just gonna get started with this video so first I will show you what I went what I got when I went on my state band trip so the first thing there was a Cabela's in the Springfield mall that I went to in Eugene and I just love Cabela's so I got this tumbler because I'm obsessed with tumblers and it was three dollars and it had the Cabela's logo on it so I had to get it because Cabela's is just ha ah, it's perfect <laughs> and I love Cabela's I can't get enough of Cabela's um, I'm so excited because in Denver, I'm going to fly into Denver June 18th, and I'm staying all all summer in Colorado, but I'm staying in Colorado Springs, but anyway, in Denver, they have a huge Cabela's, so I'm so excited to see that, and then they have a Bass Pro Shops in Colorado Springs, so, oh, this is going to be a great summer. Oh, am I sunburned? I don't know. Anyways, on to the next thing that I got, it's just on my keys. I bought a little browning keychain. Now, if y'all know what browning is, leave it in the comments. I would love to know. Um, but it's just, browning is a gun company, and they, you know, like, make stuff like this sometimes, too. So, I just thought it was perfect. It was $4, so it was kind of expensive for a little keychain like this. But I wanted it, and I had to have it, so I got it. It's whatever. I feel like my ears are sunburnt, too. And I was just sitting in the car. That was it. Let's see. Now I'm going to get started on my trip. My Canada trip. So, the first thing that I have, I went. we went to Seattle first. Like, we left the place. We left my school at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I was late. We were supposed to be at the school at 5 o'clock. And I overslept. And my alarm clock, or I woke up at 525. So I was rushing around and I was freaking out. Anyway... We went to Seattle the first day, stayed in Seattle, and then went to Vancouver, Canada, and Victoria, Canada the next day. But anyways, I just got this magnet in Seattle, because we went to the Public Market Center, as you can see. And we stayed there for about two hours, and then what I like about this magnet is it has this, like, the little thing. Little, if this thing would focus. Just the little Seattle city. And then it has the Space Needle. And I believe this is Mount Rainier. I live in Southern Oregon. I don't live in, like, Northern Oregon and all those places. Not, like, Portland and all them. So, I, I believe Mount Hood is Oregon, and then Mount Rainier is Washington. I'm, I'm pretty sure. What a sad Oregonian I am. <laughs> then the next magnet that I got was in Victoria. This is Victoria. This is their harbor. This is, this is the Empress Hotel. I did not stay in this hotel. This hotel is so expensive, but so beautiful. And then this is just their harbor. At night, this is all lit up, and it's just, it's so beautiful. If y'all have a chance to go to Canada, just go to Vancouver, go to the aquarium, go to the suspension bridge, um, and then take a ferry to Victoria. Go to the Bouchard Gardens, and then at night, go to the um, Parliament Building, and look at the lights, look at the Parliament Building lit up, and just all that great stuff. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And then... What the heck is an elephant doing on here? Anyway, I just noticed that. Sorry. This magnet, there is a elephant on here, and I do not know why it is right there. Anyways, so in, Vic in Victoria, they have this little grass section near the harbor, and it is in flowers, and it says, Welcome to Victoria. But this, they just have the Victoria right here. So this is all, this is supposed to be flowers. This is the ferry that I went back to the U.S. on. This is the Shoho. I bought this magnet on the ferry. Um, as you can see, they have the Empress Hotel right here, and then the Parliament, not the Eagle, uh, what am I doing? Uh, the Parliament building right there, and it's just, it's absolutely, it's, it's really cute, I love it. 
so had to get it and I, j I just love it all right I went to the Vancouver Aquarium and I bought two things there one for my mom because last time I went to the aquarium I bought my mom a mug so I bought her one again and this one just has porpoises on it this is the baby porpoise that I saw last time when I was at the Vancouver Aquarium and then it's mama I thought that they were dolphins and I was completely wrong so that was embarrassing when I thought that they were dolphins and they're porpoises Anyways, um, the first time I went, this little baby porpoise was super small, and then the mom, you know, she was the same size, but when I went, the mom, like, the first time that I went, the mom was, like, in the back of the tank, like, in the little corner, and then the porpoise, you know, he was just, like, swimming around, seeing us, and then I went again, and the porpoise was still, like, it was swimming around, seeing us, and the mom was in the same spot, so she just must like that spot, and she stays there for two years, I don't know. And then I bought my niece Shelby, um, a little beluga whale, because at the Vancouver Aquarium there are these two beluga whales. Um, if y'all have seen Blackfish, you would know how, I'd, I don't know, you would know how bad aquariums and SeaWorld is. I mean, y'all should really check out um, Blackfish. It's on Netflix if you haven't seen it. I mean, I like aquariums. I like seeing the animals and all that. I just don't like... I, d I just want the animals to be free, basically. Um, I don't... It's like they're stuck in, like, pools, and they're in there for their entire lives, and they don't get to do anything except do shows for people and be watched at all day. Would you like that? No, you wouldn't. Anyways, I just bought her this cute little beluga whale, and I, I hope she likes it. I'm going to give it to her when I go to Colorado, which is in four weeks. Woo! I'll be doing videos when I'm there, too, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to use my sister's computer. Sorry. Thumbs up if you love Dutch Bros, too. Got that peach tea. I told y'all, I'm obsessed with peaches. Um, that was all I got at the aquarium. Next, I'll show you what I got at a little gift shop there. I did buy my, I did buy two more things. Um, I was, or I bought them as souvenirs for my grandma, and then my friend Chad. I bought my grandma a cup with the Canadian flag, and then I bought my friend Chad, um, what did I buy him? A magnet for his fridge. So, I got this little bear for my niece, Kehlani. Um, this just has the Canadian maple leaf on it, and then it has it on the hat, too. So, I thought that was super cute. And then I bought a moose for my little sister, Robin. She's 15, but I didn't find anything that she would probably like. So, I just got her this little moose that she could put on her keychains if she wanted to, or in life, or something. And it just says Canada on the bow, on his little bow, and then just the Canadian maple leaf. I also bought her ketchup chips, and she hated them, because she's obsessed with ketchup. So, and I love Canadian maple syrup, so I bought two bottles, and I just had waffles today, so this was up to here, and now it's like all the way down here, so I can't use this for a long time. Um, anyways, and then I have right here another little thing of maple syrup. Um, I love the packaging on this one because it's just in a maple leaf, but these were so expensive. I believe this one was $7, and this one was $4, this little one, this one was $4. So, I mean, it's pretty expensive, but it's really, really good syrup. So, I recommend, if y'all go to Canada, buy buy the big thing of syrup. Spend the extra $10. Just just buy the syrup. Not extra 10 but just, just buy the $10 one. It's, it'll last you a long time. More than that one. And then the last thing that I got in Canada... Let me just move all this stuff back over here on the mess. Um, I bought this sweatshirt, and it just says, Victoria... What am I doing? I can't see. Um, Victoria, Victoria, Canada, and it just, like, this is where I was, Victoria, Canada, obviously, and then it just has the Canadian flag, and then it just says Canada. It, it was $27. It's super comfortable, and I know y'all are probably like, why did you buy a sweatshirt in the middle of, in, like, almost, it's almost summer. Why did you buy a sweatshirt? And I just bought it for, like, you know, those scrub days where it's kind of cold in the morning, and you're just not doing anything, and you know, I just wanted it. And it's great for the fall, too. So that's what I say to that. And then, yesterday I went to Walmart and I bought this shirt. So what this shirt is, this shirt was $7.50. Um, and it's just, it's really cute. It is the American flag inside of the cross. Um, I'm trying to level it out. Yeah, but it's just super cute. It's kind of a, kind of a high-low. I don't think you can see it. Um, it's, yeah, it's just kind of a high-low. And... 
It's super cute. I've been super obsessed with... Oh, gosh, my computer stopped. Sorry. I've just been super obsessed with American flags lately because, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to join the Army or the Air Force. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'm just... I've, I've been super obsessed with American flags and just American flag tank tops. So this is the closest thing i found, and I just... I wanted it. So and then the next thing I bought was an American flag swimsuit. I'm telling you, Walmart has great stuff. American flag everything. Uh, so it just looks like this. Got the stripes on it and just the stars. And this was 10.96. And then I bought the bottoms to match it. So the bottoms just look like this. These were 10.96 as well. I didn't like that. I wish they came in a set, but you know it's whatever. So this is super cute. I'm like, so excited to wear it, and it's gonna be great. So. My dad does not watch these videos, but I got him his Father's Day present yesterday, so I figured I'd share that with y'all. Um, so, he only has like a couple pairs of shorts, so I figured I would get him these shorts. These are Wranglers, and I love Wranglers, so just got him these. And then next, I bought him this kind of dry fit shirt, and it is mossy oak, and it is kind of... I believe this is duck blind camo. Um, just looks like this. This is his favorite type of camo. I did not. Does that have a pocket? It looked like it had a pocket, but I guess it doesn't. But I just bought him this shirt. No, my dad is not super fat. He just he really likes the extra X. He just likes the two time larges. They just they fit him better. He doesn't like super close fitted shirts. He likes loose fitted shirts. So this is what I got him. And yeah. They had mossy oak watches at this store called Fred Meyers, and he he really liked it, but he doesn't wear watches. So I and it was thirty dollars. So I figured why not just get him something that he will wear, that he'll wear. And in the watch, it had that same duck blind camo inside the watch. So I just figured the shirt was perfect, and I got it for him. So that concludes this haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you. Just give me some video requests. I am kind of don't really know what to do. Um, I really need to get a job soon and just buy a new webcam so I can start doing different videos like tutorials or, I don't know, different videos like nighttime routines, daytime routines, all that type of stuff. Yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love showing y'all what I got. Disclaimer, I am not trying to brag. I should have put this in the beginning of the video. I'm not trying to brag on all the stuff I got. I just wanted to share it with y'all and just, I don't know. Um, I, I bought a lot of it with my own money. I did get some spending money from family for my trip. Um, but yeah, I bought my dad's Father's Day stuff in these clothes with my own money that I saved. So yeah. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Again, um, leave video requests, thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I will see y'all. See, <laughs> I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.